projection in this video we are going to see about what is projection projection plane of projection image true size object observer when rays of sight that is projectors are drawn from the eye of the observer are extended to fall on a plane of projection the object is said to be projected the image obtained is called projection the size of the image depends upon the position of the plane with respect to the object If the plane is kept behind the object, the image size is enlarged. If the plane is kept in front of the object, the image size is diminished. If the plane coincides with the object, true size of the object is maintained in the image. Projection Methods in this video, we are going to see about the projection methods. Projection methods Depending on the relationship between the projectors and plane of projection, that is POP, and the number of plane of projections used for the projections, the projection methods are classified flowchart. Parallel projection methods Particularly, multi-view orthographic projection and isometric projection are commonly adopted in engineering practice. Convergent projection methods find application in architectural and civil engineering. Axonometric projection. In this video, we are going to see about axonometric projection. In axonometric projection, only one view showing all the three dimensions of an object is drawn on a plane of projection. The orientation of the object is kept in such a way that its three mutually perpendicular edges will remain inclined to the plane of projection. Isometric projection It is a pictorial projection method in which all the dimensions of a solid are equally foreshortened that is reduced to isometric scale. Isometric scale It is the ratio of isometric length to actual length. Isometric scale is equal to isometric length by actual length is equal to 0 0.8165. The three lines CB, CD and CG meeting at C and making 120 degree angles with each other as shown in figure are called isometric axis. Dimetric projection If two of the three mutually perpendicular edges of an object are equally inclined to the plane of projection, the axonometric projection is called dimetric projection. Two different dimetric scales are used to determine the lengths of four shortened edges. Trimetric projection If all of the three mutually perpendicular edges of an object make different inclinations with the plane of projection, the axonometric projection is called trimetric projection. Three different trimetric scales are used to find the lengths of four shortened edges. Oblique projection 
In this video, we are going to see about the oblique projection. Oblique projection is one kind of pictorial projection which is similar to the isometric projection that shows all the three major faces of the object. The main difference here is, in the case of isometric projection, the projectors are perpendicular to the plane of projection and the principal faces of the object are inclined or oblique to it. In the case of oblique projection, the projectors are inclined or oblique to the plane of projection and parallel to each other, with one principal face parallel to the plane of projection. Hence, it is also called oblique parallel projection. In oblique projection, out of three principal axes, one is always horizontal and the second is always vertical so that the plane one face containing these axes shows true shape. The third axis called receding line is inclined at 30 degree or 45 degree to the horizontal. Oblique projection has the advantages of both orthographic projection and isometric projection by showing the true shape of one face and three dimensions of the object. It shows the direction of receding lines in the projection. Principle of Oblique Projection To obtain the projection, the object is kept such that the front face is parallel to the vertical plane of projection. Then it is viewed such that the vision rays are inclined to the plane of projection but parallel to each other. The front face of the object will have true shape and size and the other faces would not show the true shape and size. Oblique projection is classified into two types, namely Cavalier projection, Cabinet projection. Orthographic projection. In this video, we are going to see about the orthographic projection. Ortho means perpendicular. Observer, object, image true size, plane of projection. It is a projection method in which the rays of sight are perpendicular to the plane of projection and are parallel to each other. In this true size of the object is maintained in the projection. This method is based on certain assumptions. Assumptions The observer is at infinite distance from the object. The planes are rotatable. The planes are transparent. Planes of projection In this video, we are going to see about the planes of projections. There are two planes of projection namely horizontal plane that is HP and vertical plane that is VP which are at right angles to each other. The line of intersection of HP and VP is called reference line denoted as XY. The two intersecting principal planes of projection form four quadrants namely 1, 2, 3 and 4. Based on the position of the object in the above four quadrants, the method of projection is called one angle projection, two angle projection, etc. First quadrant. 
when an object is placed in this quadrant, the object will be above HP and in front of VP. This method of projection is called first angle projection. Second quadrant. When an object is placed in this quadrant, the object will be above HP and behind the VP. This method of projection is called second angle projection. Third quadrant. When an object is placed in this quadrant, the object will be below HP and behind the VP. This method of projection is called third angle projection. Fourth quadrant. When an object is placed in this quadrant, the object will be below HP and in front of VP. This method of projection is called fourth angle projection. Six faces on the box. Number of views obtained on the six faces on the box. Angle of projection. In this video, we are going to see about angle of projection. First angle projection. Layout. Setup, observer, object, plane of projection. This should not be violated. Front view or elevation. Projection of an object on VP. Top view or plan. Projection of an object on HP. Side view, projection of an object in an auxiliary vertical plane, that is AVP. Front view can be obtained in the VP and can be represented in a plain sheet of paper. Top view can be obtained in the HP and by rotating the HP through 90 degree clockwise, it will come in line with VP and below it. Front view will come above XY line and top view will come below X, Y line. Left side view will come to the right of front view. Similarly, the right side view will come to the left of front view. Third angle projection. It is the method of projecting an object placed in the third quadrant. Setup, observer, plane of projection, object. This should not be violated. Front view or elevation, projection of an object in VP. Top view or plan, projection of an object on HP.
side view projection of an object in an auxiliary vertical plane that is AVP. Layout Front view can be obtained in the VP and can be represented in a plain sheet of paper. Top view can be obtained in the HP and by rotating the HP through 90 degree clockwise, it will come in line with VP and above it. Front view will come below XY line and top view will come above XY line. Left side view can be obtained in an auxiliary vertical plane that is AVP and by rotating the AVP through 90 degree it will come in line with VP and to the left of it. Left side view will come to the left of front view. Similarly, the right side view will come to the right of front view. Perspective projection. In this video, we are going to see about the perspective projection. It is the most realistic pictorial projection method in which the object is represented as it would appear to the eye when viewed from a fixed finite position. It is the conical projection method in which the observer is at finite distance from the object. The visual rays from the eye to the object pierce the picture plane that is placed between the eye and the object at different points. If these piercing points are joined in proper sequence, the resultant figure obtained is the perspective projection of the object. Example Photographs Advertisement boards Application Architects mainly use this to show how the proposed building would appear after construction. Perspective projection terminologies Ground plane that is GP. It is the horizontal plane on which the project is assumed to be placed. Horizon plane that is HP. It is the plane which is parallel to the ground plane and located at the eye level of the observer. Auxiliary ground plane that is AGP. It is a horizontal plane placed above the horizon plane. Picture plan that is PP. It is a vertical plane in which the perspective of the object is obtained. Station point. It represents the eye of the observer. Central plane that is CP. It is the plane perpendicular to both GP and PP and contains the station point. Ground line that is GL. It is the line of intersection of GP with PP. Horizon line that is HL. It is the line of intersection of HP with PP. Perpendicular axis that is PA. It is the line drawn through the station point perpendicular to PP. It is contained by the central plane and is also called line of vision. Center of vision that is C. It is the point of intersection of perpendicular axis with the picture plane. Size of the perspective, it depends upon the position of the object with respect to the picture plane. If the object is placed behind the picture plane, the size of the perspective is reduced. If the object is placed in front of the picture plane, the size of the perspective is enlarged. If the object coincides with the picture plane, 
The true size of the object is maintained in the perspective. General appearance of perspective. It depends upon the position of the eye of the observer with respect to the GP, that is about distance of station point and PP that is in front of distance of station point. Layout of perspective elements. The concept of third angle projection method is adopted in perspective projection and hence a good knowledge in third angle projection is essential. Visibility based methods. In this video, we are going to see about the visibility based methods. Image synthesis techniques that predominantly employ local illumination are built on a visibility approach. That is, they render scenes by first defining the visible surfaces in the scene, then applying a flat or at the most Gaurod shading model to paint them. Such an approach can be very rapid as the core operation of defining visible surfaces is required and the rendering process that is plus illumination model plus rendering technique is relatively straightforward. Indeed, if a flat shading model is employed, that is, even if overlain by texture mapping, this form of rendering can be carried out in the graphic processor component of the display subsystem. This is the basis of real-time animation and rendering systems. There are a number of algorithms that have been and are used in visible surface determination. These include back face curling, ray casting, that is, from which is derived ray tracing, and the Z buffer. The latter is the basis of the scan line rendering process. The central idea in using the Z buffer is to test the Z depth, that is, the distance from the observer of each surface to work out the closest, that is, visible surface of each object. If two objects or surfaces of the same object have different Z depth values along the same projected line, the higher value is further away and thus behind the nearer, that is lower Z depth surface or object. Applying this approach allows us to render scenes using scan line rendering. Ray tracing The development of global illumination models made possible the generation albeit very slowly of images with a much higher level of realism. The first and most widely used of these techniques, ray tracing, was devised in the early 1980s by Turner Witted. It is based on ray casting techniques which has been suggested were developed as an alternative to Z buffer for deriving visible surfaces. The attraction of the ray tracing algorithm is that it incorporates, that is, indeed, it is inherent within the technique. Such crucial realism elements as visible surface detection shadowing, reflection, transparency, mapping, and multiple light sources. The basic algorithm of ray tracing is indicated are mirror, light source, rectangular solid, pyramid, display screen, observer, Sphere. The basic ray tracing algorithm is iterative. We shoot one ray per pixel through the screen to produce primary rays, looking for ray object intersections, 
that is this also gives us visible surfaces if no intersection is found the pixel will have the background color at each intersection we follow any secondary rays generated by reflection and transmission and from shadows to generate a ray tree with a user defined maximum depth that is usually about 10 levels when the complete tree has been defined we determine the intensity and color of each pixel by adding up from the bottom level of the ray tree the components of the tree for each pixel component or part drawing in this video we are going to see about the part drawing component or part drawing component or part drawing is nothing but a production drawing or detailed drawing of a component to facilitate its manufacture all the principles of orthographic projection and all the techniques of graphical presentation are followed to communicate the details in a part drawing steps in making an assembly drawing from part drawings in practice the final assembly drawings are prepared either from design assembly drawings or from part drawings in the later case the assembly drawing should be made before the part drawings are accepted as final following are the steps in making assembly drawing from part drawing understand the purpose principle of operation and field of application of the given machine this will help in understanding the functional requirements of individual parts and their location examine thoroughly the external and internal features of the individual parts choose a proper scale for the assembly drawing estimate the overall dimensions of the views of the assembly drawing and make the outline blocks for each required view leaving enough space between them for indicating dimensions and adding required notes draw the axis of symmetry for all views of the assembly drawing begin with the front view by drawing first the main parts of the machine and then adding the rest of the parts in the sequence of assembly project the other required views from the front view and complete the views note it is not advisable to complete one view before commencing the other the better method is to develop all the required views simultaneously Mark the locating and overall dimensions and add the part numbers on the drawing. Prepare the parts list. Add the title book. Assembly drawing and exploded view. In this video, we are going to see about the assembly drawing and exploded view. Introduction A drawing which displays the parts of a machine or a machine unit assembled in their relative working positions is known as assembly drawing. The assembly drawing should be such that it should satisfy that is manufacturing requirements, operational requirements, maintenance requirements. Types of assembly drawings. The assembly drawings are classified according to their use as shown below. Designed assembly layout assembly installation assembly working drawing assembly general assembly 
designed assembly. This assembly drawing is prepared at the designing stage on a larger scale. Layout assembly. This is an assembly drawing showing how the parts are assembled with their basic proportions that is dimensions. Installation assembly. This is prepared for the installation or erection of a machine. This is also sometimes known as an outline assembly. Working Drawing Assembly A complete set of working drawings of a machine comprises of detailed drawings giving all necessary information for the production of individual parts and assembly drawings showing the location of each part. The assembly drawing should be ready before the detailed drawings are accepted as finished and the blueprints are made. General Assembly It comprises of the detailed drawings of the individual parts, sub-assembly and the assembly drawings of the machine. Sequences of preparing the assembly drawing Study functional requirements of each component and their interrelationship. Learn the actual working of a machine. Study carefully the views of each component in the detailed drawing and decide the relative location of each part for the proper functioning of the machine. Decide the mating dimensions between two components which are required to be assembled. Prepare free hand sketch of the main view or an important view that is generally front elevation. Add additional views if necessary. Select a suitable scale for the entire assembly drawing. Lay out the views of the assembly drawing so that it becomes easier to understand. Prepare the bill of materials. Label each component by the leader line and number it. Show overall dimensions. Draw the section lines according to the convention adopted that is referred to SP 46, 1988. Use proper grade of pencil to make the drawing fair. Maintain uniform thickness of lines and follow SP 46, 1988. Bill of Material After making the assembly drawing, the list of parts that constitute the assembled unit is given above the title block to identify them. The list generally contains the name of the part and the quantity of that part required for the assembly. In most of the cases, along with the name, the material specification of each component is also given in the table, in which case it is called the Bill of Materials. Exploded Assembly Drawing Some cases, exploded pictorial views are supplied to meet instruction manual requirements. These drawings generally find a place in the parts list section of a company instruction manual. The figure shows a drawing of this type which can be easily understood even by those with less experience in the reading of drawings because 
In this exploded views, the parts are positioned in the sequence of assembly but separated a little from each other.